Let's zoom in now on the get records by ID task. It looks like this. Zoho.crm.getRecord by ID. You give it a module name and a record ID. It's pretty easy to use. I'll show you in this custom function here. We're doing we're assigning it to a variable. Zoho.crm.getRecord by ID from accounts and then we're passing in the account ID. Normally what you'll do with a custom function is you'll map an argument, in this case the account ID, to a variable. That will then mean that when the workflow runs that you'll have that account ID available. There's not really much more to get record by ID. One thing to be aware of though is that if you're doing it with a custom module, I've got a few in my CRM. You might think that you'd go get record by ID HC82s. No. You Use the actual module name that appears in the address bar when you go to that module. The same thing here, I've renamed potentials to projects. I don't do projects. I have to use the original module name, which is potentials. And for my HC82s, I do custom module one like that. That will be important as well with some of the other tasks like up update record. <clears throat> Let's also talk about how you can get data out of a record once you've fetched it. Let's say that you've fetched custom module one record, an HCA2, and you want to get the HCA2 name. Let's have a look at that. You can see here the field appears to be HCA2 name. To actually retrieve that, you'll go account record dot get custom module one name, not HCA2 name. The same thing if I'm getting what appears to be the project name. I need to do potential name in this case because the original module was potentials. So if I go potential record equals zero.crm.get record by ID, go down to potentials and put in the ID. Then if I want the potential name, I need to do potential record get potential name. This can be a bit confusing when you're looking at the, <clears throat> the actual UI. You'd think that you would use project name, but you have to use the original module name. The other thing that is confusing is that if you have a lookup field, I think I have one here. Yeah, lookup three. If I want to get the ID for that lookup field, I have to do lookup three underscore ID like this. Pretend I have a lookup field in the potentials module. Be like this. The normal field name followed by underscore ID. There are a few gotchas.